Well, hello everyone, I am Matt Williamson. How's everyone doing this fine day? Pretty snowy and blustery out there. So I got all kinds of good responses about my foundational Steeler piece. You know, who are the foundational players on the Steelers? And I came up with 15. And many of you said, well, compare that to other teams. So I'm like, all right. And then so off the top of my head, I just did the AFC North, the other three teams in the AFC North, who I consider foundational players for those teams. Caveat. If you're a free agent to be, you're not on the list. I mean, so that applied to the Sealers, but the nice advantage the Sealers have over those teams is they really don't have foundational players that are set to be free agents, where the other teams do. And the other thing is, I'll be honest, I was probably harder on the other three teams than I was the Steelers. So these numbers are low for those teams, because like I put Darnell Washington on the list. I'm sure there's, if I studied the Ravens, Bengals, Browns to the extent I do the Steelers, there's probably a fourth round pick there that I'm missing. You know, somebody that plays half the snaps. So I kind of just did the obvious ones. Um, Let's start with the Browns. I did not put Chubb or Watson on the list. I think Watson's an anchor. I don't think he's a foundational piece. And unfortunately, Chubb's injury, I don't think he's ever going to be the same. So, no quarterbacks, no running backs for them. I did put Amari Cooper, David Njoku. Speaking of the Washington conversation, I did put a a mid-round tackle, Dewad Jones. He's going to be a starter, cheap. Batonio and Teller, the two guards, are excellent. Tomlinson, the defensive tackle, he's making a good buck, but he's a quality foundational type starter. Of course, Miles Garrett. Did the same as the Darius Smith, although those guys are expensive. I love their linebacker, JOK, Owosu Koromora. I love their safety, Delpit. Those guys are both still young. Ward, Newsom, and Everson, three corners. So that brings you just to 13. I mean, the Steelers had 15, and I'm not saying the Steelers roster is better or worse than any of these teams, but just to give you, you know, apples to apples numbers. I came up with 13 Browns that I would consider foundational players, 15 Steelers. The Bengals, I only had 10, but one of them is Burrow. One of them is Jamar Chase. (laughs) You know, like those are nice building blocks. I put Orlando Brown on that list. I put the guard Kappa, who's good, not great. He was borderline for me. Both their defensive ends, Hendrickson and Hubbard. Two of their linebackers, Logan Wilson and Pratt. I also put Hill there, their first round pick from a year ago. Um, He hasn't been great, but at least he's playing a lot and kind of counts. And Awuzie, the corner, in which I was questionable if I was going to put him on. Like DJ Reader would make this list, but he's a free agent. That's only 10 Bengals, only 10. The Ravens only have 12, but they're high quality ones. Lamar. Flowers, the, the, the receivers, really good young player. Andrews and Likely, two tight ends. I love their center, Linderbaum. Didn't put any other offensive linemen on there, mostly due to age and Stanley's injury, but you could argue that they should be. I put Pierce, the big nose tackle there, just because they just resigned him. So I think that indicates foundational player. Roquan, Hamilton, um, Marcus Williams, another safety. Humphrey, the corner. Stevens, another corner, and I put Justin Tucker to get them to 12. So you'd rather have Lamar and Burrow than a lot of the others, but I came up with 15 Steelers, and again, I was definitely more generous to the Steelers than the other teams. A dozen Ravens, 10 Bengals, 13 Browns. So a lot of you commented, boy, 15 foundational players, that's it. Man, they got to get 30 new foundational players. Not really. I mean, that's just not really how the league works. Folks, with the NFL playoffs rolling along and the NBA season is in full swing, Bet Online has you covered with all the up to second odds, news, and scores. With additional odds, lines, trends, and information on both desktop and mobile, you can access the world's best wagering information anytime. Head there today and get into the action and see all the updated odds. Remember to use promo code BLEAVE, B L E A V, to receive your 50% bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, where the game starts.
So that was a fun little exercise with you know the Steelers being off. And just going to cap this thing off just with my picks for Divisional Weekend. The Ravens are hosting the Texans, and I'm super impressed with where Houston is as a team, where they've built, Stroud, et cetera, et cetera. But I urge you to check out my podcast, Peacock and Williamson, I do every day on the Locked On Network. We had Aaron Schatz on, who's founded Football Outsiders. And he played it out pretty well. Like, finding weaknesses on the Ravens is really hard to do. I think they win this game big, well-rusted. Home teams usually destroy in the divisional round, as you'd imagine. But I think they win this one big. I also think the Niners win pretty big against the Packers. Another team, I'm really impressed with their youth, their young quarterback, youngest team in the league, well coached. A lot of similarities to Houston, really, but they're running into the best team in their respective conference that is well rested. And I can see the Packers putting up points, but the Packers D has been bad all year. And I think San Fran puts up 30 to 40 on them. So I think a lot of points, but San Fran wins this one big. The Bucks have been fun. And the Lions shut the, the the run down really well, but the Bucks are not a heavy run team. So I could see Edward or Evans and Godwin and even Baker having big days. But Detroit at home, much more talented team. Their offense is loaded. I think they win that one by about a touchdown or so. Um, I think you'll get points in that game, though. I think that might be more fun than you expect. I do not think that's a blowout. And lastly, I don't know what to do with Chiefs at Bills. I think the Bills are the better team right now. But, boy, betting against the Chiefs, uh, you know, in the playoffs. This will be Pat Mahomes' first road playoff game, which is insanity. And the Bills, as you know, very injured and suffered a lot of injuries in this past game, you know, against the Steelers. So, I don't know exactly where they are, especially with their linebacker injuries. And the Chiefs kind of have their number. So, intangibles certainly favor Kansas City, but I think the Bills kind of get the, you know, the burden off their back, you know, the the monkey off their back or whatever, and win this one. So, that's a wrap for today. Um, We will be back Monday, I guess. Everyone have a great weekend. Over and out.